Hi guys good day. I welcome you all, I want you to hit the subscribe button, if today is your first time here. Today we will be talking about King Taki. Taki's War, or Taki's Rebellion, was an uprising of Akin, then referred to as Karomanti, slaves that occurred in Jamaica from May to July 1760. It was the most significant slave rebellion in the Caribbean between the 1733 slave insurrection on St. John and the 1791 Haitian Revolution. According to Professor Trevor Bernard, in terms of its shock to the imperial system, only the American Revolution surpassed Taki's war in the 18th century. It was the most dangerous slave rebellion in the British Empire until the Baptist War of Samuel Sharp in 1831-32, which also occurred in the colony of Jamaica. Taki's War The leader of the rebellion, Taki Akin Spelling, Taki, was originally from the Fonti ethnic group in West Africa and had been a paramount chief in Fonti land in the central region of present-day Ghana before being enslaved. He, along with the Asante Queen Nani or Nana, both planned to take over Jamaica from the British to be a separate black country, but for themselves and not as allies. Before being a slave, he was a king of his village. He himself recalled selling his rivals of the Ashanti, Nzema and Hanta, other Akan states, often to slavery as spoils of war to the British. But ironically, he would become a slave himself when a rival state defeated his army in battle and sold him off to Jamaica as well. According to J.A. Jones, who claimed to have met him while being held captive by Taki while trying to get an interview with him, in his memoirs he wrote that Taki spoke very fluent English, which was indeed common for the ruling class of Fintz at the time. Also according to Jones, he was discovered in a cave a year before the rebellion took place, planning with his comrades, Kwa, Tuya, Sang, Sabadu, Twi Sabadu, Fulajati and Quinti, Twi Quartang. All except Fulajati being of Akan descent. The slave revolt was a coordinated island-wide conspiracy, led by a secret network of Akan, Karumanti, slaves. 1. 2. It took months and even years for order to be restored, depending on which parish the rebels operated from. Over 60 white people had lost their lives, as well as a similar number of free people of color, in addition to 400 or so black slaves, including two ringleaders who were burned alive and two others who were hung in iron cages at the Kingston Parade, until they starved to death. More than 500 rebel slaves were transported, or resold as slaves to new owners in the British colony in the Bay of Honduras. It is estimated that the destruction caused by Taki's revolt, and other spin-off rebellions, cost the colony of Jamaica over £100,000, which is many millions in today's currency. The Colonial Assembly passed a number of draconian laws to regulate the slaves in the aftermath of Taki's revolt. In addition, they banned the West African religious practices of Abia. The rebellion didn't end there, as other rebellions broke out all over Jamaica, many of which were rightly or wrongly attributed to Taki's cunning and strategy. Other slaves learned of Taki's revolt, which inspired unrest and disorder throughout the island. Rebels numbering about 1,200 regrouped in the unsettled mountainous forests in western Jamaica. They attacked eight slave plantations in Westmoreland Parish and two in Hanover Parish, killing a number of whites. Refugees, both white and black, fled the Westmoreland capital of Savannah La Marin on May 29, an attempt by the Westmoreland militia to storm the rebels' barricaded encampment was soundly defeated and repelled. On June 2, however, Bolstered by militias from two more western parishes, a detachment of British soldiers and sailors, and the skilled maroon warriors of Akampong Town, the colonial forces successfully stormed the barricade and drove the slave rebels out following a two-hour battle, killing and capturing scores of rebels. 3. Also according to Jones, he was discovered in a cave a year before the rebellion took place, planning with his comrades, Kwa, Tuya, Sang, Sabadu, Twi Sabadu, Fulajati and Quinti, Twi Quartang. All except Fulajati being of Akan descent. The slave revolt was a coordinated island-wide conspiracy, led by a secret network of Akan, Karumanti, slaves. The rebellion didn't end there, as other rebellions broke out all over Jamaica, many of which were readily or wrongly attributed to Taki's cunning and strategy. Other slaves learned of Taki's revolt, which inspired unrest and disorder throughout the island. 
rebels numbering about 1,200 regrouped in the unsettled mountainous forests in western Jamaica. They attacked eight slave plantations in Westmoreland Parish and two in Hanover Parish, killing a number of whites. Refugees, both white and black, fled the Westmoreland capital of Savannah La Marin on May 29th, an attempt by the Westmoreland militia to storm the rebels' barricaded encampment was soundly defeated and repelled. On June 2nd, however, bolstered by militias from two more western parishes, a detachment of British soldiers and sailors, and the skilled maroon warriors of Akampong Town, the colonial forces successfully stormed the barricade and drove the slave rebels out following a two-hour battle, killing and capturing scores of rebels. I hope you enjoyed this episode. Join me as I continue in the episode 2. Don't forget to subscribe.